Oh, welcome back, everyone here to the Sevo MLG Pro League Season Seven. Still in Europe. I'm still Helium, and with me is Launders. We're about to get into Map Two here, Existence Navi. It's gonna be Train. It's gonna going be on? Train. It's gonna be hard for Existence. It's gonna be very yes, it hard. Is. It's gonna be an uphill battle from round one. Now, if they don't win this pistol, it's over. I mean, they need this pistol. They need uh, eleven round CT. They need twelve round CT. They need 13 round CT. I, I mean, they they need all the CT rounds, and it starts with the pistol. I'm getting already, eco. They can get can eco. Smokes. Whoa, Zeus out. hero with one HP, and Edward busts out Ivy and immediately finds a kill. I don't know how they got all the way up, but their player turned around, but also taking advantage of Moose and Bonnie. And here's an outer split that is working out. Yeah, really those two well. players getting out to Ivy and behind the old bomb there so quick. And uh, Flame is going to get flippant, intercept him as he's trying to come back out through CT spawn. Kyrie there in the Z connector, and one on three, they're even just going to smoke him off, try to get that bomb down. Uh, they'll leave a bit of a gap, and that'll force Kyrie to come through. Guardian will take his head off just like that, and Navi had that one smoke to block off uh, between the bomb train and uh, green there, and then they just split outside. Yeah, they. I don't know how they got all the way up Ivy, and there, there was a player at Ivy just with his back turned to it. Um, I, I don't know if they threw a smoke over something that took it took attention away from it, but uh, they totally punched them there at IV and uh, now Navi will just have to avoid getting ecoed, which is a possibility from existence. But uh, it's going to be difficult again. They most likely don't have a strategy. But Mason, <laughs> who needs a strategy when you hit headshots? Uh, yeah, seriously. And another scout kill and a third. Uh, maybe already. though. He steps out and unloads too in the single spray down, but the scout work for Mason has been good until it looked like he just stepped on a landmine, but indeed it was Guardian with the grenade from distance, and that'll put him into a one on two. And th this should be winnable. He's got the bomb, but I mean, so many places to hide in this outer sight. He is maybe a little hesitant to just plant before finding at least one of these kills. Yeah, we'll be forced to at some point. I mean, if you feel like you can get the bomb down safely, you've got so much time to work with in terms of places to go. Uh, so there's no there's no sense that he doesn't. There's no reason for him to just straight up plant it right away. I mean, uh, but coming in through the back of the bomb site here into B, ooh, confident. Which is actually what they're expecting, right? Flipping just was staying poised in this inner bomb site, but oh, as he looks oh, over to the back oh, alley, of so CT. unfortunate. Guardian is right when he gets there, and this will be bombed down. He'll plant it on the side of the train. Let's see where he'll, where he'll try to go. If he'll try to get up to heaven, or if he'll just defend here from the back of the bomb train. Still has oh. not yet seen Ron. Oh, he actually just passed right by him, and oh, whoa, Ron will actually find the kill with no armor, and even though Guardian had the best of flipping there on timing, um, Ron also uh, had his way with luck and um, was able to find Guardian and catch him off guard, so... That's HP. <laughs> Hundred. <laughs> Awkward. Thank you. <laughs> He's such a nice guy. But never. That can't feel good to ask HP and then just every had a hundred. <laughs> All of them. Whoops. I would have said every single point. All right, so it's actually existence on the back of Mason's scout work, locking down that ladder room that uh, will get them that round, and Guardian, although close, uh, unable to win the uh, 1v2. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that was very, very winnable for Guardian. I think we both did. But uh, kind of lucked out in the first kill, and then uh, got outlucked on the second. And now there's going to be kind of a force act towards A once again, and they will be expecting right here as... It's like Guardian is going to be throwing a smoke over the site. I assume it's going to be a yeah, Z smoke. Yeah, I'm actually trying to figure out what wrong. this is. I am Thanks. just watching him right now because I want to I'm learn. Look this. at his flashlight. Uh, it's actually going to go between the red and the green train there. All right. So now we know. We have learned. But still, this round is difficult, right? Guardian and Seas are the only ones up, and they're going against. Oh. Okay, now Guardian will find Mason as he was on the, the wrong side of the E-Box. Kind of hiding maybe from Seas, who made it out Ivy, but Kyrie will shoot him down from the back hall there. And oh. uh, Guardian going to bring down Flippin, well, just seeing his head as he gets out of Z. And Guardian once again in this clutch situation. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit Again, plenty of time harder. to work. Kind of. Oh, Kyrie's kind of making the harder play for himself here as he's pushing backwards. 
into upper. I guess now has time to go to ladder though, which could work out well for him. But the bomb is going to be planted for CT side, it looks like. Yeah, he'll eventually just have to plant it, and he will. We can see Kyrie coming down through the ladder. Where will Guardian try to get to? Uh -oh. Will he get there? No, he won't. No, he will not. And that just shows you uh, how really hard it is to get into a good post man position and a uh, one on one on train, and really in either site. There are just so many ways that a player can come from. Yeah, it's not necessarily hard. Like I, I know what you mean, and I would say the same thing, but I think in different words. Like it's, it's like if you, if you don't have the information, I guess it's just really yeah. risky either way. But in an after plant spot, if you have one, it's like. It's so difficult to uh, yeah okay that's find true. it's so difficult to find the person on the retake right um, if Kyrie didn't know where Guardian went I mean he would have to walk around um, and there's so many trains so many big trains that you have to walk all the way around to check um, that Guardian could just uh, clutch from and um, unfortunately for Guardian was unable to find a spot oh. two rounds in a row <laughs> whoa 99 damage off shot through a wall damage. unreal. Oh, Kyrie almost killed his teammate there as he tried to spam up. We see C's throwing these flashes out of those windows in white halls. Uh, the smoke as well. That one's going to land. It should be in the end of the bomb train blocking off Z. And Musambani, though, pushing up by, beside Blue here. He's going to find Edward and Guardian. And Mason as well. The E-Box killer going to get Zeus. <laughs> C's with the trade with Musambani right there behind it. And Existence on the CD side looking really good. I can't wait till we see what... Um, what... Was that a rifle? Oh man, they just it was, it. yeah. Wow. Well, kind of, right? Yeah, they bought. Yeah, I guess it. it was. They lost three in a row, but they had rifles in that last round too, I think. Uh, right. I can't wait till we see what spots on the map get named after like amazing plays that happen. Sad as happens with every map. I think we already talked about this once about player spots named on this uh, map. I, I wanted uh, a plaque to commemorate that T Heaven is gone, and I wanted like a a player's name there. But what amazing play did he make? I at don't that know. Spot? I, I couldn't think of anything. I think I had suggested oh. Wally. But oh yeah, 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 Wally. Yeah, yeah, you did mention that. That was right. It's one v five. All right. Uh, oh, okay. Navi, a, not able to do too cleanup. much. Wonder if he starting smokes. to feel good. To try to get out there and get the bomb down, but even that wasn't enough. Hmm. Here we're going to have another rifle round. It's going to be a very telling existence. We'll have the opportunity to make it 5-1. I mean, are they going to be able to surprise Na'Vi here? I mean, Na'Vi are, like, confident on the map in terms of practice, in terms of beating good teams on it. But if they haven't played a certain team on it, I mean, their style could just completely just be the right style naturally um, for the map. And, and on the CT side, it could surprise them. Uh, Obviously, both teams will get the opportunity to play CT side, and that's the biggest um, that's the biggest factor in the favor of Navi. But at the same time, uh, wow, an opening pick again for Existence. It's pretty good. They get away. I mean, we can, uh, we can see that Existence seem to know what's up on the new train on their CT side. Like I had, had mentioned, like I hope they know to get a bit aggressive outside of CTs, and they've done it the last couple rounds in a row. Musa Bonnie that time getting up early frag and getting out. Now on the back of the red train, he's spotted, and even with his 19 HP, he won't be hit, and he will survive. Well, and he and he'll get a nade in better spot. Is that, Molotov yeah, and Kyrie with the works. op. We know how good Kyrie's op is, man. That thing can be dangerous on any map. Is this nade from Moose and Bunny really good? Nope, it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was it like landed in between two people, did zero damage. And the smokes are gonna come out. It's Kyrie. Off, kind of off hand smokes, and Guardian with the op is gonna jump on the top of the train. Um, and he seems like he really likes opping on this map, and oh! Zeus and Z's come out from two directions and, and uh, find trades for themselves with Sephiron. He's going to answer back flipping as well. And the Existence do come away with that round uh, pretty handily. Obviously, Musa Money getting the opening pick I think was huge for them. This map, uh, this map is very hard to win with a, a dis man disadvantage on, tr on uh, T side. Yeah. Very hard. You need six people sometimes to win a round. 
So it might be time uh, that we see Navi maybe try to switch gears a little bit. They've got three smokes. That's just about as many as you need for either execute on either site. We haven't seen them go inner yet, and it looks like this might be the time. Although you can't really tell because now that you can throw the smokes from white halls, maybe they're just gearing up uh, to toss those out. Or yeah. toss them out, fake it, and go inner. The bomb is ladder? Down ladder? Oh, no, no, it's inner. Okay. Yeah, so I was wondering at first if it was safe for Existence to be playing three outside, or four outside, but they have moved Kyrie back to watch upper. And if uh, Navi just try to walk out, I mean, they will get punished for it. So uh, I think it'll have to be an execute here. But Flippin has a pretty cool spot. I like this on the opposite side of the bomb train. Um, we'll be able to do some damage and not get spotted. Wow, he gets oh three gosh. from there. Beautiful. Yeah, and he had that long-range support watching upper, and that was Kyrie. Now it will be Kyrie, who's able to get one, but Guardian will take him down. But still, it's a one-on-three, and Mason's already right there, so he'll find that frag. 6-1 for existence. They're looking really good as I prepare to uh, eat my words from earlier. That was a, a layup spot from Flippin. Wow. Yeah, I mean, they all didn't those, even know. Like, he sprayed two clips and sat there and reloaded, and they didn't notice him. And nothing's wall bingable on this map, so any cover is like so good, especially in those the lower parts yeah. of those trains. Yeah. Oh, about to learn another smoke here from Edward. Standing on the sewer drain. Alright, this is a big we got two what is that? Just two or maybe three smokes coming out to the outside bomb site. One will land right on the end of the bomb train. Okay, they put a whole wall essentially of smokes and even getting a smoke in the back of Ivy, so that's all of the smoke, because this is the biggest set strategy we've seen here on an eco round. Maybe just try to get that bomb down. And it has paid off. They find the bomb plant. Kyrie, not quite sure where, actually shoots his teammate first, I do believe. They kind of switch and, spots uh, here. Three on three right now, yeah. Flamey's found himself an op, and already he's the one with two frags. Oh, and Flamey's going to hold this angle and eat the splash. Oh, and Flippin' waits just long enough, knows exactly what to do in that situation. Does he know that there's a player right on top of him that sees from heaven? He's going to go down. And that's going to leave one person alive. That's Edward in a 1v2. The bomb can get defused. Edward's going to have to run, yeah. One and zero. Oh. Bomb defused. And oh, Flippin actually gets Edward. Yeah, but he's going to have the bomb went down, so. Yeah, yeah. So, but they, they do find him. He isn't able to save anything. I don't know if he had a gun or anything besides it's easy. They almost won that round, but they didn't really. I mean, Existence did look in control of that round. After plant wasn't like a, a really big deal. It was still like 3v3. Navi didn't have the guns they wanted. Um, and the frags came out and they had control in that 2v1. I mean, they, they you know, sometimes those eco rounds can get out of control and then someone like off the back of a hero play saves it. But, oh, here's two off shots from Kyrie and second round looking good outside. Edward goes down as well trying to get aggressive through a smoke. And uh, Zeus is going to find two frags to answer back. And now it's a 2v2 as Guardian helps him out. Yeah, Mr. Bonnie pretty low as well. Flash, oh, that's a full blind. Will Zeus, though, push fast enough to capitalize on it? He will. So he takes Moose and Bonnie there out of T Hell. And now it will just be flipping here. Can he turn it into a one on one? He runs out of bullets as he was trying to control that spray. Maybe wasn't quite conscious or was just trying to get it uh, before he ran out of bullets. Either way, Navi now, uh, after that pistol, finally getting their second. It was how many rounds in a row right now? Seven in a row right there for existence. And that was and, a 3v5 from Navi. Yeah. So. And we got to remember that the map is still more than likely heavy CT sided, not a ton of data yet. Uh, but, I mean, Navi against Existence, you'd expect them to maybe get a little more than the, the normal T side. Oh, yeah. So They're probably expecting to win every T like, round. Guaranteed. Yeah, really. And Guardian getting on top of that train so quick will take down Kyrie. And now Navi starting to come in to form Moose and Bonnie. Trying to slow them down a little bit. He'll bring down C's, but Guardian getting his op shots from on top of that middle blue train has made things tough. Just flipping in Mason alive. Oh, Mason. Sees yeah, two players like... blind. Almost as damage. Enough to kill them both, but can't. I don't know what before, and I, it, I mean, as off of a 3v5 last round now, so suddenly existence are slipping up. There's pretty much no reason they should lose to like just uh, an open execute like they did. It didn't really work last round, but uh, Navi were able to just trade out so well. And we've seen this wow. happen too many times. You know, a team slips up one round after a huge streak, and all of a sudden they just start losing rounds. When it's like the first round that let that happen was off the back of a complete mistake in hero play from the other team in a situation where they had a, a huge man advantage. 
I mean, how, how often do we see that happen? Yeah, well, I'm trying to look. I mean, a lot of times it's because that one win will just destroy a CT economy. Uh, really but it doesn't look like that might be the case. They've been keeping a lot of people alive most of the time. Round five, they won that with every single person. They lost two people in round six, two people in round seven, and only three in round eight. Well, you um, don't even have to look at that, right? Like, they bought two rounds in a row. I mean, they yeah. had enough money for the round to follow. Yeah, exactly. So. They still lost, yeah. Well, Fulpa did, did save his M4, his kit, his armor. He's going to be soloing beer right now. And uh, will he use his spot once again? I mean, that was the spot. Looks like he'll play a bit more of a severe angle there on the wall. Uh, but is anyone helping him out? Yes, they are. Zeus, I think, maybe actually did spot Flip. In. Oh, no, Flip is on the other side of those boxes. Excuse me. And some bullets were whizzing by his head. Moose and Bonnie, though, has already been brought down. I think Flippin's in a spot to get one. He will find Seized, and that maybe means a, a gun in another player's hands. Ron actually almost gets one with a USP. Uh, Zeus will, though, go down to ladder and support Edward as he's planning outside. In the smoke, it's four on three for Navi. Mason probably wants to hang on to this AK. I mean, he's just got no, no health and no armor. Flippin looks like he's going to join him in that, and Kyrie's going to look for maybe a pick or a drop for himself, but Flamey is a little bit too aware. Brings him down. And uh, Navi are going to come over the fourth round, a third round in a row. And even though it was versus a save, it doesn't really matter. Uh, every, any round you get on T side is huge. And existence were in a position where they had to lose two in a row to get on a save and still managed to do that. So that was their mistake. Navi capitalized on it. And it was with uh, the outer take that they've been using the last th pretty much three or four rounds um, straight up. I mean, after, after getting shut down and entered by flipping that one round, they just didn't go back. And now it's Navi with the momentum three in a row right there. Existence with enough funds for another rifle round here. Uh, let's see if they can, uh, you know, get back on uh, the horse again and start winning some rounds. Because they haven't won the half yet, right? They have seven rounds. They're one away from winning it numerically with eight. Uh, but if they're only, you know, kept at eight rounds, it's still going to be in favor of Navi on this T side. So we'll see what happens. Guardian, will he open things up with his op again? Tons of flashes going out both ways here and outside, and it'll be Zeus to come out and find that first pick onto Mason. Kyrie though still alive with his up, so you've got to respect that. And Guardian just on top of that blue train, he's actually able to do so much damage from there. Zeus with a long range pick onto Ron, and actually you see a flank coming in from Ladder, but only able to get one. Flamey will bring down Flippin on the Lurk. And now it's just Kyrie and a one on three with the op. Hits one shot onto Edward, seized. Waiting for him in the smoke, and Flamey moving around the other side of Kyrie. It looks like it'll be Flamey to deal the killing blow, and it will. Now five rounds on the board for Navi. Oh, that was a uh, look at honestly, the, that that A take was brutal. The, those flashes were insane. I was even as a spectator just completely blind <laughs> for the entirety of that round. Uh, they, there was a player on the back of bomb train, and he was full flash. Like these flashes were going deep into the souls of existence um, for like repeatedly and. And it seemed like they were just chaining flashes um, purposefully. Like, they were like, okay, run in with your heads down. Um, let's go in blind. Just get all of the sight. And then uh, once we're all of the sight, everyone can be on blind, including us. And that's going to work out because um, that's going to allow us to get to better spots instead of all just getting crushed as we come out of T-Con. And it ended up working out really well. So I'm not, I'm not going to say that that was existence. Unable to just hold outer again. That seemed like a really, really difficult AT to deal with. Yeah, and um, I don't know. Like you said, even as a spectator, kind of blind. I know there are some uh, kind of pop flashes that you can throw from that uh, T-spawn dumpster area uh, over the wall. May have just been chaining two people there, just chaining some flashes, letting three players get out of middle. But that's Mason moving up, finding two kills immediately. Uh, and you could do a lot of damage right there, right? It's terrorists now will be standing at the top of the White Halls with nades out, looking to pop flash, looking to smoke. And as a CT, if you push up that ladder, you can just get tons and tons of easy kills. Hmm. And the, the Lurk Frag goes to Ogan, Moose and Bonnie finds that Brand's making a new AK, and then they're going to have to be on a retake here for the outside site. And this is a critical round. I mean, this is uh, a fight for their 10-5 half, which I'd say is the very minimum that they're going to want, and they do spot Guardian in Ivy with the op. Uh, second round's going to come through CT, and it's going to try to uh, it's going to try to uh, seek out the other player in this two v two. Oh, Edward able to get Ron as 
Ron trying to get Guardian out of that position at Ivy with the op. Moose and Bonnie still wanting to go for the retake with this Aquamarine Revenge. Uh, but I think he's just going to back off and uh, save this pretty gun. I feel like this is the op more. What are you, the op Hyper Beast? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We already kind of got treated with the Hyper Beast skin, right? With the M4. Yeah, I know, but they're both so nuts, though. Yeah, the the op one actually does look a bit better, I think, than the M4. But I don't know. I like the I like that AK a lot. AK is pretty nice. Pretty nice. But uh, yeah, yeah. Ex <sighs> Navi have six rounds now. Uh, whoa, how many is this in a row? It's Quite five a bit. in a row. Five. Wow. I mean, it's like three rifles and a save, but uh, existence now. Spending a little bit of money here. I'm looking to just pick up a round in general and uh, have already lost the men. Are kind of on their last limbs of as, uh, Nav Navi's playbook. Navi's deeper playbook, I think, is starting to shine. Uh, their A takes are, are still continuing to catch um, Existence off guard when at first it seemed like Existence had a really good grasp on how to play the site. Oh, Guardian peeks out wide and Moose and Bonnie can't kill him but sees him. Oh, C is going to be cut off guard from Ron. He was spamming those smokes and Ivy for so long, but Ron was just patiently sitting behind that box. And uh, Kyrie, I think, landing another scout shot there. Although you can see the four people have been hit by scouts, it would appear, uh, from Kyrie. So once again, Existence putting those scouts to good work. And Flippin's going to shut down Guardian as he tries to get on top of the blue train. We've seen him from that position quite a bit when they've been working outside, and it's been strong for him. And now you can see a bit expected. So into a three on three. Flippin's going to get one more, and oh. then another. That's going to drop the bomb. And both players, actually, really all three players right next to Z Connector as Edward will move out in a one on three. And he'll find the first player with eight HP, so he brings down Flippin. Ten seconds on the clock, though. Bomb yeah. is out towards him, but is going to run out of time. He'll save. have to find the kills. He'll get <laughs> one, and oh, Ron oh. knows he just needs to run away. Yeah, so very nearly in Edward's grasp. And actually, I think Edward Ron wants to try to get this there. kill here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now it's Edward really who's got to run away. There. Yeah, he, he really wanted that kill. Um, but that does save the AK, and everyone's fighting for their last round here. Both teams are fighting. Uh, for the uh, nine six or seven eight half and. Um, I'd say Navi are in a great position to do it. They're going against three Fomuses, which is a huge disadvantage to an M4 on this map. Either M4 uh, Fomuses just uh, do not do not really work that well um, on train, but is a rifle nonetheless. Kind of spray if you needed to, get up close if you can, but... Could be good for flipping spot and enter, though. Still pretty close range if he is to play it again, and it looks like he is on the back of that bomb train. No, he's got no long-range support, though, which means that Seize can easily just take him out. Flippin, though, is very aware of that possibility, but Seize is going the distance. He's trying to get as far down that uh, upper catwalk as he possibly can. Now we'll oh. see Seize battling outside with the op. And Ron trying to hold on to Ivy. Seize like Mason right by Seuss. Oh, did he go? He went the full distance. He's all the way on the other side of the bomb site. He just saw him there. And expecting him to cross, <laughs> he's still just playing the long game right now. And there he gets him, <laughs> finds Flippin' with the Flippin' even slices at him. Flippin' him the bird. He knew he's that he was beat. Chilling. And that is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the small risk of just playing one player inside. And look at that, man. It was existence. As soon as I sent out the tweet that Team Existence was absolutely doing work on train, they lost uh, five in a row. So I'll take the blame, guys. It's my fault. Yeah, tell it to existence. I'm sorry, existence. We're able to trade. They they trade. even retweeted it, so maybe it's their fault. Oh, rough. They're able to even uh, trade at the end. I mean, I always say this, and I always give uh, more credit to the team who who come away with the later rounds and a half because they're the ones who adapted, as yeah. opposed to the ones who caught uh, the other team off guard. And mm, I don't know. Uh, it did seem like they did have a, a really good grasp over. Um, their A site holds, even that, that B site spot that Flippin had was um, worked really well. I mean, um, they had things on lockdown. Then all of a sudden, Navi came out with a slightly slight variations in their in their A strat, which I guess you know, looking if you were to look back at the demo, I'm sure you could uh, you could find them. Uh, but uh, one of the things I noticed were that was uh, that one strategy where they had so many flashes raining over the site. 
going extremely deep and just uh, chaining them out, at, even as Navi were entering the site, so that um, they could get to the, get to better spots before they even had to start shooting. And that ended up working out really well. They broke the money of existence. They stole back some of those T rounds, and existence, even still winning the half, are pretty, pretty, probably pretty upset with themselves considering they they had such a good thing going. Yeah. I mean, it seemed like Guardian getting on top of the, this blue train that, you know, Existence is passing right now with that op while, you know, some set smokes and flashes came out was just so much to deal with. Uh, as on this pistol round, it'll be Existence starting off really strong right now. Ron with two really solid Glock headshots. Make it a third as he turns and finds Seized almost instantaneously. Now Guardian in a one on three. P2K Ocean Foam. He'll find... Oh, not even going to get that one. Well, then the one tap onto Flippin. Honestly, winnable. I mean, Guardian's within one health, but Mason's only within two. Suck it. Ron is really hurt, and going in is definitely in the good play here since they know where he is. Guardian knows what's up as well. It's going to run in for the retake, but with the player upper, that's going to be difficult. Suck it, Ron. Spotted at the back of the site. He's going to try to do some damage. Oh, Guardian finds his way sweet. onto the site. And, oh, he's going to run through now. Just has to go for the second player. Knows where he's playing from, too. No kit, though. That is something you got to keep in uh, account there. Mason knows that he can just work that time. He's not going to hope. Uh, he's rather hoping that Guardian hasn't just stuck it. And once again, the, gu the bomb will be tapped. And Guardian hitting those or missing those it. shots. Mason showing himself once more. Another tap onto the bomb. And Mason seems to be playing this almost perfectly. He will peek out and find that kill. Yep. And then go flying. Yeah, just go flying. Whee! That's a very, very nice effort from uh, Guardian, but Existence overall looks really good. Um, they're on the pistol. Now have nine rounds. If they're able to not get egoed here and uh, win the first rifle, I mean, they honestly have a good half going on, but we'll still have a lot to prove on the side. I mean, if they win every round in a row, let's say, they'll only have to actually win what, three rifle rounds in total to win the game? So, it's not unheard of, but it will be hard. Yeah, but now we'll see. I mean, it's a little bit easier to kind of just find a, a solid defense that's working uh, as opposed to having set smokes and flashes as they'll drop one down into ladder, but it doesn't quite work, and Zeus is there with the 5-7 degree Mason, and that gives Navi on their force up here the man advantage until Ron, bursting out of middle, does clean up Zeus. And uh, rolling out with that UMP, the Blaze. Flippin's going to be able to find Flamey. Guardian with a beautiful scout headshot, though, through a sliver onto Flippin. And Edward with the CZ on the site, lighting him up. Down to 10 HP is Moose and Bonnie, but he will find the kill with the MP7, only to be greeted again by Guardian's scope with that scout. Oh, and, and Caesar's Ron, up in heaven. Yeah, and this is such a good position when there are limited numbers. And there you go. Caesar will find it, and Navi will get that anti eco. There goes, uh, there goes that thought of a streak happening from existence. Uh, uh, it, is, it, is, it is probably one of the easier maps to eco on on, on CT side, especially stacking odor. Um, but uh, they needed to survive that. I mean, if they're not able to survive that, it's going to be only harder on the on the rifle rounds to follow. Now existence forced to Glock save here and and uh, maybe even have to double save. But I don't think they, I don't think they will if they can avoid it. All right, Flamey with that smoke out. He's going to push up the uh, alley between those blue and green trains. Try to get an aggressive peek into middle. Edward supporting him from far back. Oh, seized. I don't know if he was trying to fake that reload just to get a person to push. Or if he saw those feet and he canceled it. Either way, he gets the kill onto the full eco of existence. Mason already down. They're taking it slow. Might be taking some time to talk about the next round, perhaps. Yeah, that's pretty much all they'll be doing here with the blocks. Splitting up, trying to get for some information on the way that uh, the, the sites are being played, but on eco it's kind of difficult because the sites will be played a little differently. And uh, we'll kind of have enough money to buy, I don't know if they want to, They looks like they do. Um, one player, Mason, that he's a little low, I wouldn't, I mean, he could get the little nades or even the Tech-9 armor and full nades and it looks like they're stacked, settling for simply Kyrie with a full nade set Galil and Flip and Mason and Moose and Bonnie all um, you know, going to be looking for a smoke for their execute 
once again, in a situation like this, you have to do something fast, and it looks like they are. Who's and Bonnie already out into the site. I think Flamey might have seen Ron getting on top of that blue train. Oh, they're both blind now. Kyrie on the back of the red one. Flamey trying to control that spray to find another frag. Can't quite get it. Ron, though, getting shot Ooh. from Guardian, but he takes Guardian out of CZ yeah. Heaven just like that. And sees you from the back of the bomb train. <laughs> Will give Navi the man advantage. Two on one now. It's just flipping by himself. As Launders is allergic to one taps, apparently. <laughs> That's a really nice shot from uh, Second Ron, excuse me, for that. But yeah, they're going to look. Oh, sp Flipman spots one it up, or. Uh, um, that makes it a 1v1. Surprised how many entries they got in this round. But Will Flippin really, really assume that someone is coming t -con. I think that's kind of like his last concern, or is it? Oh! Just oh, barely misses a player. Zeus does Zeus. get that information, though. He saw him cross, and he, yeah. it looks like he'll be going up to that ladder. Uh, but, but okay, Flippin is planning for CT. Good Smart play. play there. Well, where will he try to go? Back towards CT spawn, wrap to the other side, or to the upper catwalk, or maybe just the back of the bomb train. Zeus traded out that P90 for the AK, which is going to be much better suited for taking this inner bomb site, but trying to fake and uh, hit these shots without really any cover. Flipping, just going for the pre fires. Going to tap the bomb again. Oh, Zeus even does have Zeus. a kit, and Zeus will get it. He wins, yeah. Uh, Flipping, uh, I mean, Zeus played that really well. He didn't, he didn't allow Flipping to. He didn't allow Flippin to think that he could repeat that same side three times. I mean, peak wide each time, made Flippin peak, uh, and uh, Flippin with the amount of health that he did have did take some bullets. Um, but Zeus made the kind of 100% play if it's played properly, and it ended up working out really well. Uh, I think uh, what worked in his favor the most was him being able to get the information on Flippin um, early enough so that he didn't have to actually walk around and kind of force him to engage. All right, early nades and smokes to dissuade any early terrorist action there from the middle connector. Smoking off ladder. They got themselves a good hold outside. Uh, opting for three players outside. Guardian, though, and is actually both watching lower. And uh, Guardian playing the quicker rotate here with that scout. But Ron going to find that first kill onto Flamey with the Deagle. And that was that aggressive player outside. And Mason getting through the smokes and into the Z connector, finds one with a Tech 9, picks up the M4, gets another, takes Edward out almost immediately afterwards. And now, Guardian here with the op. Excuse me, I think I said he had a scout. Oh, he knows where one of these two players is. Oh, there's actually three. This is going to be a tough one. Yeah. He has a bomb, to, though. He'll have to ace if he gets this. And there he is spotted from behind from Mason. Mason getting into that connector like that so quick. I mean, finding three kills. Uh, yeah. He was a big part of that round, but obviously the set smokes and flashes were able to get him there. Yeah, that was nuts, and it looks like Existence do have a T side plan as well. Um, they they do win a round, and uh, that was right after Edward won that one v one that they almost uh, got it, um, that they almost uh, stole from Navi too. So uh, maybe maybe a little bit better on the T side, even though even than we expected. But again, it was Navi in the first half to come away with some of the later rounds. Wouldn't expect that to be any different. Um, in this situation, in Guardian uh, re-peaking, getting Mason uh, jumping up. Yeah, it might have to be Guardian to lead the charge again. He was the one that started hitting the op shots and opened up some of those first terrorist rounds. If he can do the same thing here and lock down the bomb sites with his op. He's 20 and 12 right now. He is top fragging in the server and, of course, on his team. Uh, but some inner smokes coming out, trying to get into lower, and they will spot seized immediately on top of that uh, close train. And one pick is all you need to get the bomb down in B site. Uh, this ladder fight could be really good from Zeus, so, although it is being held if he plays it carefully. Oh, oh both, gosh, but Ron will beat him to it. Moose and Bonnie also gets Edward on the other side of things. Flipping! Taking down these players coming through Z, and that put Guardian by himself, trying to get up there, using the ladder, wants to retreat, would like to get at least one more kill. There's no way he gets out with his life, and Kyrie takes him down. Existence now winning again, wow. uh, 11 to 10, with now two rounds in a row here on this T side, also getting the pistols, so already three on the half. Didn't think they, didn't think, uh, and it's obvious, and it's, again, not because we think that Existence are a bad team, but it's, they've banned this map four times. Um, so we didn't think that they, this is a map that they had 
really tried to get good at it. And also, we regard Navi as one of the better teams in the world um, on, on train right now. So it's quite surprising. Existence are able to win uh, some of these T rounds, um, some of the early CT rounds that they did. And uh, yeah, as you mentioned, are winning right now, officially winning in this game, even though they have the harder side to actually close out on. And will also most likely be offered up another round right here to make it 12 10. Yeah, Navi, they're getting very aggressive now. They're not even playing outside. They've all moved into the connector. Trying to get that backstab going as fast as possible. I don't think anyone's even waiting for them. And Seize actually is going to lock down inside. He gets one kill. If he can find another, he was able to pull out the AK he picked up, but not able to shoot any shots. So the bomb is going to go down. And now those players on the fast flank, it is being watched. And they are coming through with just pistols. Trying to maybe find a gun. Oh, actually, Edward will go down to get a P250. Flamey already had that 5.7, but won't be long for this world as Ron was posted on the stairs waiting for him. Edward, though, with a quick one-tap. Not expecting the second player. He tries to pick up that gun with E, and therefore not aiming at the corner. Existence four away from locking it up. Na'Vi um, are, are, are kind of in a tough spot. If they don't win this round, they're actually going to be kind of looking at a 14-10 unless they can pull out another eco or decide to force buy again, which they really are spending all their money right here. Um, and this, I don't think that'll even give them... Or if, if they lose another round... And, and are forced to eco, that will give them loss bonus, but um, that will be kind of their last opportunity to win the game. So, so far, looking really good. Oh, C's in a great position, though. He's going to use the smoke and get two frags on inner, and that's the kind of play Navi needed to change it up. Flamey also finds a kill as well, and where was this Navi um, for the last three rounds in this half? Suddenly looking very in control of what's going on. Moose and Bonnie in a 1v5 does get the bomb down and a first pick with a nice headshot. We'll smoke the site off. Has a lot of nades to use, but has a lot of work to do as well. Yeah, I mean, Navi just getting a little more aggressive on the extremities of the map, right? Seize pushes up into the white halls, gets information, and gets away with two kills with that uh, smoke that I think almost every CT will throw out at the start of the round. And then also at Ivy, Flamey goes out there and he finds two kills just like that. Guardian able to bring in the last one, and that's a clean round. And Navi, if they can continue to put rounds that look like that together... Uh, maybe see them get out of this with the victory. But I think Existence have already proven it's not going to be easy for Navi to get out of this with that win. No, I mean, they do have another bye because they've won those three rounds. They won that last round, uh, that eco, with only losing a one person, I think. And that means that Navi still are fighting from behind. But uh, that was a very, very convincing uh, rifle from their, their, uh, their side on the CT. Um, half of this map and... Um, with one player in her once again. That's seized. This time, uh, not going to be getting aggressive. I think got flash as players try to cross, so that might change up his style a little bit, but this will ask for a player that's guardian to come and rotate into the site and help him out. And that'll make this part of the map equally as hard to take as it was last round with only one player, even though they might know how he will play it. Again, the IV aggression causing a bit of a problem. I don't know if those two players at middle are still there looking to maybe throw some smokes to, to fake outside or to even split outside, but that IV aggression was stopping them from doing it. So maybe delaying existence a little bit on their set strategy, but we see the smokes coming outside, and it's a fake. Ron and Kyrie are going to act like they're going outside, but the rest of the team is trying to work inner. That'll force Guardian to rotate, but C is just staying planted on that inner bomb site, so it really has not worked on them. Sees though, looks away at just the wrong second. Will still turn and find the kill onto Flippin. And Molotov's going everywhere. Inside has caught fire. As Moose and Bonnie, the last one up, Guardian gets two on the retake. And that'll be tying it up 12-12 for Navi. Mm -hmm. Two very nice frags. And they do they do perform the retake. Existence almost got away with that um, A execute or A fake, I guess, because they had uh, flashed a player who pushed aggressively. Uh, into their lobby and uh, killed him and usually a fake will work or work a lot better if you actually get a kill with the players faking and we saw that happen a rotate came out from the B side but still um, with not enough players to defend uh, the Navi were able to get the better of them and do come away with the second round on CT in a row but existence somehow with a bomb plan are still able to afford an off full nades armor and AK so good many management on their part Wow, Moose and Bonnie going so fast into ladder. Gets the one tap, immediately pulls a knife out and runs away. Wow. Uh, so now, 
They can try to manipulate some rotations a little bit more with these fakes, although Seized pushing up uh, there into <sighs> Boiler on the back oh. of his smoke. Oh, he is going to be spotted, and he's returning shots, but still alive and able to retreat. Oh, I don't know if you should have let him live, live there. Didn't he have a player at the top of ladder to help him watch it? Yeah, they could have put pressure on him, I think. On Seized? Yeah, they knew where he yeah. was. He's in a really tough spot. He's forcing him a fight, but they didn't want to take that fight. It's one of the best opportunities to get a kill, I feel like. It would have been a hard fight to win, but even if you trade one for one. Looks like they've got an idea. They're throwing out two smokes here over middle, flipping, and then ready to go. Pop flash, make sure no one was in that middle connector, and here's their outside take. Other players actually still waiting in the top of ladder. Maybe some more pop flashes to go out. Oh no, he'll go down the ladder. It's a cool flash there from Mason. So, the attack on outside starting off a bit slow. Edward and Guardian flipping though. That'll bring it to a three on three as he brings down Edward. Smoke's not quite as thorough here, but Guardian and Edward able to still get kills. Guardian able to get another one. Will they stop the bomb from going down? No, they won't. That'll leave flipping in a 1v2. And he can kind of just play this after plan, but oh, coming around the other side of the train, it's immediately obvious to Guardian, it seems like. And he's able to get four kills on that was the round. Pretty slick by Guardian. Yeah. He, he got a couple tags on him on the one side of the red train. So as the player retreats, he immediately taps the bomb and just strafes out to the other side of the train and, and gets them real quick and then defuses. Right. Yeah, it was just good communication as they had. Uh, uh, whoever was left alive on Navi besides him just go around the other side of the train and give Flippin' no play, basically. I think they got a little too passive existence on that round when they found the opening pick. Mm. Like you said, yeah. they probably could have got another one or traded at least there for Seized. Yeah. Always worthwhile to do. Oh, Mason comes out with an entry. Once again, entry going the way of existence. Will they turn it into a round one? Mason finds another one through the smoke, and Edward has moved into heaven. He does have enough, but there's only him and one other person left, Navi. And he's been spotted now, too. It's gonna make his life tough. He actually climbs off the ladder and able to get into Old Bomb. Seized is in the back halls there as well. He'll get jinked, oh. but he takes down Flippin' before, uh... Go actually, before going down. Like, I assume he's gonna die, but 11 HP, they will retreat out and look to save these guns. Yes, indeed they will. And this is a nail biter right now. Um, existence are able to trade off rounds. I think, uh, unfortunately for them at this point, if they continue to do it, Navi are going to be in a better spot than they are. But economically, it'll always favor a terrorist team, even who are uh, behind to keep trading rounds. As if they do it, they'll probably still be able to buy. But at some point, Navi might have to save. And um, I think they have a little bit of money right now, but we'll have to spend it right here. Um, in order to get a buy together. Do they have any money left over? They do have some, it looks like. Guardian out of spawn yet? No, well, they are spending not, most not of their quite. money. They had to delegate who was going to get what there. Mm. They will buy up. It's all tied now. 13-13 as we come down the home stretch in round 27. Kyrie already taken damage. Mason shooting Kyrie. That's going to help him out even more. They're getting oh. spammed through the smoke. Uh, but once again, posting up in the White Halls. Yeah, we have a similar setup. Um, Navi are all the way back and uh, playing passively. I think it's something you mentioned doesn't work that well that often. Um, we have seen Existence do well once they're able to get outside to actually trade out. So maybe finding an early pick. Uh, well, they do actually have four outside, side. though. So. Right. But that leaves uh, Seize in a position where he's forced to get trades. Um, and if someone were to walk out upper, he really doesn't have anyone to cover him. I mean, no one's even on a fast rotate right now, but the bomb, where is that going? Oh, that's walking through the white halls, and Kyrie is spotting across upper, and if he doesn't see anything, might feel comfortable walking into the site, and here we'll have Guardian look for that duel, but he isn't looking at Kyrie right now. He's looking at lower ramp. Will he turn? Yeah, his head is so close to being spotted. If he was standing... And he does! Oh. His hands oh. up and Kyrie takes it off just like that. Stop. Guardian is down. Kyrie opened it up and that Molotov's in a perfect position as well. That's gonna force Seas to move out of cover. Another one coming in. Double the Molotovs, double the fun. Zeus coming in through the rotation. Lower still smoked off. And Bomb going down in the back of the train. Kyrie showing us, reminding us that he is such an experienced opera, taking down three people just like that. Now Moose and Bonnie gonna bring down Seized. 
And uh, coming there through the Z connector train, Flamey peeks out slow, does finally bring down Kyrie, but puts him in a one on three, and Mason just gonna get aggressive with it, and he'll take him down. Wow, that was a amazing round from Kyrie. Just a, what a shot on the Guardian, just barely seeing his head, and having to kind of flick to him after Guardian got the first shot off. Um, because he was crouched there looking at the lower ramp. But I think it would have been much better if Guardian just held the angle on upper as he's watched lower. Uh, and that was a, that was the kind of setup that Existence had where I think that they actually looked better on him. On a couple of their rounds, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'd flip into the lower ramp, just kind of walk around freely, exposing himself to upper, knowing that his teammate was covering it for him. Um, and that would have been... Well, that would have worked out really well. You know, Mason is actually... Oh, pushing inner, but... Will they get punished for this? Guardian down there with the monkey business, just waiting for them to retreat away from the Mag-7 of Edward. Moose and Bonnie will fall back, hit the showers on a reload. Oh, oh. no, Edward just runs right on by. He was like, he didn't want to find any naked people in there, man. Eyes away from the showers as he strafed on through. Oh. Wow. After all that, after that round that we just saw Na'Vi come back on the eco, on the force buy, and actually are able to, on their aggressive push, bring Existence down, and now it's 14-14. Existence will have money to buy up, but, oh, not very much at all. I mean, they need two drops, and I think Kyrie might have to settle for a scout here. Um, if Ron wants to drop in a Fama or a Galil to flip him. Oh, he's actually just going to go with Tech 9. I mean, oh, they yeah. steal it back. We see some pretty nuts Tech 9 work for Mason. We know it can still be strong earlier in the half when he was finding the, the, the first rounds uh, for his team, but Mason's going to be the first one to go down this time. Seized once again pushing a little bit aggressive there into the, I don't know, the boiler room, I guess, from lower. So now four players for existence as they just try to hold on. Ron's still watching the flank everywhere. Seized, though, is going to find another inside. And now five on three here for Navi. It's going to be tough for existence, and it looks like it might be Navi getting to match point first. I think so. Um, the three five seized is very low. We, we've seen it happen from Navi, but Edward finds a very important trade, and now that's Kyrie one v four. Tech nine does pick up an AK, has some nades. Now that's just a Molotov, but Guardian. With the second kill on the round seals it up, and that's 15 14 in existence in a tough place economically. We weren't able to plant that round We're kind of on their third round bonus, and we'll be only, only able to afford tech nines across the board, not even full nades. Quite unfortunate that they were able to uh, lose that force by after looking so good in this half. CTs are throwing a party, they just dropped so many guns trying to spend all the money that they had here on this last round. <laughs> And uh, Na'Vi, what do they have? Wow, Scar 20 for Zeus, and you know that, that is like, I mean, this is a home map for a Scar 20 user. It can be absolutely insane, all the long angles on train. Oh, they're all over inner right now. Yeah, oh. they've already taken the inner bomb site though, with their tech nines. Bomb has not yet been planted though, Ron is down, Mason now gonna fall to Zeus, Kyrie alive with only 5 HP. Yeah, CT's coming in. There's a trade made, but you can't really... You're not in a position to trade when you were starting out there three on five. Two members of Na'Vi go down, but in the end, Na'Vi, although struggling way more than we really thought they would on the train, they're one of the teams that has sort of been playing it. They are early adopters to the new maps. They're, you know, Na'Vi's been on the up and up. They're back to the one of the top teams in Europe kind of status, or at least you can maybe put them there, put them in your top ten overall. But Existence... Getting smashed on their own map, Mirage, 16-4, to put up one hell of a fight here on train, losing only mm -hmm. by two rounds. Yeah, very, very nice effort from Existence. I'm sure they'll be mad at themselves uh, for their loss because they think, uh, you know, they hold themselves to a high regard, looked really good on the T side, lost pretty much to a forced buy, kind of getting a little bit careless, not expecting Na'Vi to have to do something hyper-aggressive or not anticipating that buy in that situation. or just thinking probably too far ahead or just happy about the fact that they won that previous round and also dropping all those later CT rounds um, to uh, the playbook or the deeper playbook, I guess, of Na'Vi who were able to uh, get out into that A site so many times. But uh, overall, it was really well played from both teams. I mean... Uh, I think uh, existence or looked really good.
Yeah, I think for sure, like to the point you just made, those CT rounds that they dropped, they probably feel pretty confident with their T side because they were able to get just almost enough rounds as you would ever need on T side. It's just that they slipped up on CT, uh, given the eight seven half, uh, when they were up so many rounds, having five in a row slip like that, and had some trades near the end. Uh, but Navi looking good today. Uh, especially in that first map, and that was, I believe, their third series, and I think it'll get them through. Let me see if it's already updated. All right, so that'll be their third game played. They've got one win and one full loss. All right, that's they lost to uh, NIP, I believe, 0-2 on Dust2 and Mirage a, a while back. Yeah, that is one, the case, and uh, they did beat LGB. And obviously the win here against Existence. So it'll be two wins, one loss for Navi. So not doing bad, but we're going to be seeing a lot of them coming up because they have not played very many uh, mm -hmm. of their overall series. You're going to need to play, I think, like 11 or 12 overall in this round robin. Uh, VP has played the most at eight. A couple teams up at seven, Hellraisers and Gamers too. And actually coming up next, uh, we got Leet 1337, the team formerly known as Property. They've yeah. got seven games played, one direct win, and three ties. So they've actually got quite a bit of points for them. Uh, so that'll be Leet versus Mouse Sports coming up next year in the Sevo MLG Pro League. So if you want to tune in for that, stay right here, MLG.tv slash play Sevo. And when we return, it'll be Leet versus Mouse Sports and myself, Helium, returning with Launders. Our Twitters are there. If you want to tweet at us, let us know what you thought. At Helium Brother for me, at CS Boxer for him. And uh, any final word, Launders? Nope, but uh, yeah, just we'll be right back. All right, stick guys, stick around.